now the people can really see why you know, I don't do you and I roast you every chance I get and I'm never going to take my foot off of your neck. Hey, Couture Bays, it's your girl, Brett Brett, going live with the Read Talk and Bay Squad. We have to talk about bongos versus the bloggers and Meg the Stallion and Nicki Minaj's relationship. But before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my favorite the vegan water and let's get into the mess shall we so child i was over here scrolling on instagram forgetting to do this video but i happen to be easily reminded because i got sent the joe button clip again shout out to the base so we're gonna check that out and then i'm gonna give my thoughts release what I, they waited for this record don't seem like it has lasting power it's that it's that hard ass beat the the hook is not hooking for me, it's not catchy. It's not particularly it's catchy. It's not. There's nothing. There's nothing in it to make it stay. One, and two. I know y'all think Sexy Red is paying me. She's not. But this commercialized ratchet has passed. <sighs> it's ghetto ratchet time, and neither one of them are ghetto ratchet on this song. I think they both have potential to be. And Cardi normally smokes Ghetto Ratchet, but she's too big. That's why she got to go get with K-Flock. That's why she got to go get with some of the... She's too big to do it. We need a Bodak Yellow now. Both of these women... This sounds like this is two women who can't make a song. Is what it sounds like. So we need to get either some of the same writers back that had... I think Party is a party. credited writer on this. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, good. All right, so that means that y'all coming with old sauce. Because we know Partisan Fontaine, well, we assume he is not writing for either one of them today. Maybe true, maybe not. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. But this sound like, I don't see it. I don't see it. Uh, you, I, said, you said waiting. Um, for Woo, Bay Squad. Joe Budden didn't hold back, and he literally said everything I have been telling y'all into the build up of bongos. Now, if it becomes a sustaining song throughout the year, then kudos to them. But I feel like she's a year too late. She should have dropped this, in my honest opinion, in April because then it would have transcended with the summertime, the flow we outside. I don't think it has anything to do with commercial ratchet versus real ratchet. I just think she's a year too late. From the interviews to the promotion of the song, the fact that Meg the Stallion was given, I'm just here so I don't get fined, spoke volumes to me. If they were really cool, they would have did that IG press conference together. They would be doing these interviews together. Even though she's a feature on the song, she don't have to do too much, but we know Cardi needs Megan to promote and elevate the song because a lot of people still like Megan, contrary to popular belief, they like her. They like to look at her. They like to tune in to see what she got going on. Um, Megan, take this time right now to put all your emotions and your feelings about the Tory Lanez case, how the media portrayed you, how the bloggers came at you, into your music. I'm sure it will resonate with the girls. And I will buy it because I'm a fan of Make the Stallion, even though I know she's a social climber. Now for Bel Kanana, I saw what Impressive said. I saw what uh, Charlemagne the Goddess said. And I feel like this, no, absolutely not. I don't think Megan saved this song. I don't think um, you need to not put out a sophomore album. I don't feel like you did enough. I see you going these places and they're not giving you the real. This entire video gave me Walmart placement ads and it's giving me influencer tees, which there's nothing wrong with it. But if you're over hip hop, just say that so we can leave you alone. Now for the relationship between Nicki Minaj and Meg Thee Stallion. Now, the reason they fell out has nothing to do with Belle Kanana. It has everything to do with how they were handling the business behind the scenes. Nicki Minaj gave Meg Thee Stallion the video. She actually appeared on the IG live with her they did all that work just for her to be iced out of the profits and I don't know if that has something to do with Carl Crawford I don't know if that has something to do with Megan but Nikki is not rocking with her a lot of people felt like it was because of how Megan was portraying herself and trying to um push you know a little apple juice down Nikki's throat 
I don't think so. I think it has everything to do with money because as a Sag myself, we don't play about our bag and we don't play about a deal is a deal. Hence why I say get everything in writing because these hoes will switch up. Now, as for Nicki Minaj hosting the VMAs and Megan and Cardi performing, I don't think it's going to be beef. This is not the 90s. This ain't even the early 2000s. I feel like this is 2023. If they're going to bring the heat, they want to focus on the music. Drama no longer sells albums. Drama no longer sells singles. The way Billboard has changed the rules to benefit those who they want. Baby, the girls got to work twice as hard and come with twice the bang. Hence why I said... The craft and the work will speak for itself. Build up your fandom. But what do I know? These are just my thoughts, Bay Squad. These are my opinions. Comment down below. How do you feel? I gotta go. Bye, hoes.